Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Rush Frontiers. Today we're gonna be doing, um, we're gonna be having some fun in, uh, the Jungle Boogie. Why did I just call it that? I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not sure if this is like a boss or anything, but... Oh, great, those. I mean, like, I don't know if this is a boss or not. If it is, I'm gonna be a very sad boy. Alright, boys, the defense is set. Let's get it on. Let's get it on, boys. Alright, now here's the real issue. I haven't played this game in a little bit of time. One of the spiders just straight up got deleted from existence. I have no issues with this. I have no problems with this. The spider just got deleted from existence. I have no problems with this. What did he just say? Did he say boom shakalaka? Is that what he said? I don't know. I like him. Alright. Um, the defense is set. It's a bit of a strategic defense. Basically just gonna abuse the most overpowered thing in the goddamn game. Uh, oh great mate, jungle mate drunk already. Uh, the Savage Warriors, I forget what their weaknesses are. But, anyway. Yeah, these guys have very high magic resistance, so I'm just gonna like, put another Retro Tower there, because why not? Why not? These guys have no resistance, okay. This guy's range is insane. He doesn't okay amount of damage, I guess. But like his like his range is insanity. Not that I'm complaining. I wish there was like a speed up button in this game. I do. Like a speed up button would be so nice in this game. But I digress. Earth Shaman, Savage Hunter. Uh, sure. Why not? There's nothing coming from that direction. I'll get a Mage Tower right there and there. Because why not? Yeah, Earth Shaman... Earth Shamans have... High resistance to, um... I... I completely forgot what they do already. They're oh, the only thing I need to know is that they're a pain in the ass. Go away. Uh, giant wasp, giant wasp. They're a pain in the ass. That's, that's all I need to know. I'm just gonna like put those guys right there, in the middle of everything. Jesus. They're a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, he has the little elf weapon from number one. That little, like, double-bladed thing, I forget what it's called. Whee! And he's here now. I love heroes that do that, just appear out of thin air, right to the area that you're in, right to the area that you wanted them in. Apparently not. I can 100% say that that is true. Alright, I want to get this guy up to a dwarf. So if I can get this guy up to a dwarf, then I'll be okay. Witch Doctor. Oh yeah, Witch Doctors are the ones that heal things. Basically the thing I hate the most in this game. Okay, he's not going to come first. Uh, that, that's... I'm... I'm less mad. I wonder if we can hit things. Wait, new enemy! Parasite. These critters lay... Uh... Grody... A reaper of un... A reaper. Terror of unknown origin hunters from a faraway tribe voyage to try and hunt one. Uh, 
Oh jeebus. Oh jeebus. That is less than fun. Okay, we're good. Oh, this man's just by himself. Wrecked. Right, I wanna get I wanna get this guy upgraded to a dwarf fairly soon. Two witch doctors. Savage warriors and earth shamans. Let's do it. Witch doctors shouldn't be that hard. Like if they start like they're gonna be a problem, obviously, but I could probably just like drop a rain of fire on them. They'll be dead. At least I hope so. Oh Jesus. That's uh that's not a good thing. <laughs> Never mind, that's a good thing. This man just got deleted. Yeah, witch doctor's almost dead. That's fine. As long as the witch doctor dies, I'm a happy man. Uh let's see if I can't get this guy to level three. Again, never give me something that's OP like the dwarf early on. Spiders. Putaki. Right. I don't know how to say that. I'm not even going to try. Um, I want everything up to level 2 at least. Alright, Putaki Rider. I think that's how you say it. Kutaki riders soar the jungle skies, hunting any trash passers they may find. Oh, great. Uh, ranged flying units. That's less than fun. It could be worse, like, on all honesty. It could be, like, those fucking sand dune things. Okay, um, now I know. Kill these guys immediately. So the moment that Savage Warrior dies, these guys just, like, pick up in speed. There we go. Alright. Um... It should be okay. I mean, like, one more, one more guy right here. I should be able to deal with him relatively easily. All right, I have to get this guy up going fast. It's getting a little dicey right here. I'm not one for diciness, if I'm being honest. What happened? I'm sitting here. There's this massive thing about to get through. And all of a sudden, they're dead. I'm so confused. Oh great, Gorillion. My Gorillions. They're not bad. I could deal with them. Alright, the Dwarp. I think that's how I say it. I don't know. Yeah, that trick still works. Although, it's you have to be more precise. Because in number one, you could like... Um, rain that, like, the rain of fire thing on flying enemies that would kill him. I just realized he's leading this man with a banana. These guys are the yetis, practically. He's leading them with a banana. I just cannot get a break. Yeah, fall face first, boy. No great. Giant wasp, giant wasp. Oh, this is the way with giant wasps. All right, dwarf. All 
I just realized this guy's not level two. Neither is that guy. Well, once I get the dwarf, everything should be relatively easy. Unless they have like some anti-dwarf enemy, which I doubt. I forget which one. I'm pretty sure one of them gave. It no, that's number one because the axe throwers had a ranged attack. It's the axe thrower guys, the barbarians that had the ranged attack. I don't know if this is a boss or not. Um, if it is a boss, I'll probably just do one level. If, if it's not a boss, which is not looking like it is a boss, then I'll do another one. I just realized from that achievement that they spell Parasite with a, a Y instead of an I. Which I don't understand, but sure. Alright, we're in good hands now. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me give me that which I desire. That's what the thing said. Come on, me. This guy right here, he's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Oh god, why triple witch doctors? There we go. Get rid of them witch doctors. Fuckers can heal themselves. Well, not themselves, but if there's two and like the radius, then they're practically unkillable. You just have to like drop fire on them. I'm not sure why at the very beginning of this episode I decided to go with the jungle boogie. I don't know. Like, it's... I swear to God. <laughs> I sit here and I try to... Uh, what the heezy? I just saw a mass of enemies on that side. Fear. But anyway... I don't know why I decided to go with the jungle buggy at the beginning of this episode. I don't know why I decided to say it. <laughs> it's I don't know I don't know why. It was just it was on my mind and I had to say it. I guess that's the best thing I can say. Uh oh. Oh, so this little thing go, um go, glows red when it's ready to drop the dwarf the, not the dwarf, the furnace blast. The more you know. God, the range on that guy. Alright, I just gotta get everybody up to level 3. And then we should be okay. The Jamaicans. I love it. You know what, let's get some Jamaicans going. <laughs> I love it. What does he say? Oh, what the hell? Wait a second. There's hidden stuff on the here. I just saw that. It spawned a predator. Where are they? There has to be like some sort of like visual indicator. There's gotta be multiple around. Probably around this thing. Maybe? I don't know. It goes right there. I don't know what the visual indicator is, but... The man just appeared and disappeared. I'm looking. This game has me paranoid for like the fourth time. <laughs> I can't. 
Watch out for the voodoo! That's a lot of enemies that I don't particularly enjoy. Never mind, they're gone. Oh my god. Oh, Alright, everybody's up to level 3 besides this man. Alright, first blast on this guy's ready. I feel like this guy, in combination with this guy, could be a really just absolutely monster of a combo. Again, I don't know where the... It was a Predator from Alien vs. Predator. I don't know where I can find others, so... I don't know. I'll have to go look in post to see the um, visual indicator of it. I mean, like, we're holding, so... Oh. Oh. Summon Death Rider. Summons a Death Rider. I fear some creature with an aura that bolsters nearby skeletons. Oh. <laughs> Pestilence. Summons a cloud of pestilence for four seconds, poisoning enemies for 20 damage every second. Okay, I gotta admit. I'm gonna really like that. I'm gonna really like this tower. I'll get these guys. Knights Templar. Right after I get this guy. Oh my god, I have skeletons that fight on my side. Yes. Yes. Fight for me. Oh my goodness, look at this man. It's called a Death Knight. This is amazing. I love this. I can raise skeletons and skeleton knights. I have no problems with this. Excuse me. I can test my theory right now. If this guy is a good combination with that guy. It's the weakness one. It's the red ones that are the weakness ones. I believe so. Okay. Okay. Jesus, this last wave is going to be a doozy. Yeah, I can confirm that this guy is a good combination with that guy. What do you say? Do you say raw? What? Yes. This guy is going to be a force to be reckoned with. They're really trying to get me with these, like, with, with these fucking, like, parasite things. It's not gonna work. Because I think the parasite thing only works on, um, melee units from, like, these towers. I'm kicking ass right now. Oh, 
There's really nothing else to say. Just let the let the defense do the work. All right, this is gonna be a very long final wave, though. I don't know what's going on with this, but I love it. The fucking Jamaicans. Like no hate against Jamaican people. I love them. Their accent is got just their accent is just goddamn hilarious though. Yeah, I can confirm that tribal Axorus and the Dwarf is a uh, a killer combo. And the Necromancer is just a beast and a half. I've only used my Reign of Fire, what, twice? Maybe three times? I don't know. Kick-ass. So we have a new hero here. Um, I'm not gonna even try to say that. I'm gonna do my thing with the hero and the upgrades and I'll seen a little bit. All right, I've decided that instead of going for the boss right away, um, cause this is a boss by the way, I'm not going to do that this episode. Um, instead what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go replay another level with, I don't know, like the iron challenge or the heroic or iron challenge to get an extra star so I can get, um, the bows for these guys. And then um, as we do that, I'll talk about channel stuff or just general life stuff. Just because, let's be honest, those challenges aren't really all that interesting. They're kind of boring, but I'm going to make you sit through one. They're pretty quick as well, so it's not all that bad. I'm going to get the bow, and then we'll take on the boss next episode. How about that? All right, here we are. The third, um, we're doing the heroic challenge. The third level of the game, when this started, where the first thumbnail came from, I will never understand this scam. All right, the defense is set up. Let's do this. This is gonna be all that hard. I love doing that. Um. Anyway, it's, this shouldn't be all that hard. It should be relatively quick as well. And then, did this man just shoot one of these guys? I don't know. He just, he just shot one of those guys. I agree with this. Yes, do more. I would love you to kill my enemies for me. That just sounds pleasant. Alright. It shouldn't be all that hard. The only thing I a little bit worry about is the um, sand hounds here. I think that's what they're called. I'm gonna go for another some archer towers here. I don't think anything here would really help. Like, I'll get an archer tower here, but I doubt that a level 2 archer tower would help much there. Desert rug. Desert rugs. Ah uh, yes, I am big smart. Oh great. That guy's an immortal, yeah. Immortals aren't that fun, aren't all that fun, I'm gonna be honest. Or I find it funny how they break, not break, die into like this thing, this mummy. It's like they're all exposed. Don't take that out of context. I bet you somebody's gonna take that out of context a couple years later and then just turn it into a meme and I'm gonna have to live with being a meme for the rest of my life. Please God don't. I don't, I don't think I can handle the mental stress.
I really should edit that out. I'm not going to. Yeah, Sandhounds and Warhounds each side. It's a little bit worrying, I'm not gonna lie. But it's okay. I'm sure my defense can handle it, right? And before it dies. I want to get this guy up to level 2. If I get that guy up to level 2, then I'll feel safer. There we go. I looked at that area at the perfect time to see a Warhound just get absolutely annihilated. I have no problems with this. I don't get me wrong, I love animals. Um, I have a dog of my own. He's a small little thing, he barks at everything, but I love animals, you know, I take care of them. He is my world, basically. I love him to death. He can be a bit annoying at times, but he's an old dog. He's like, what, 10, 11, something like that. But, um, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't wish that fate, just being blown up after biting and attacking a dude with a sword. And then just being blown up right after. I wouldn't wish that fate upon anybody. Okay, that's not true. I prob would probably wish that fate on some people. Um, this is the moment where I shut the hell up. <laughs> Cause... <laughs> I swear to god, I just go on these like random ass rants and I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. But um, chill stuff. I'm gonna have to schedule, um, besides the every a video every Sunday. Um, I wanna do, um, because if you look at the past five videos, right? Um, I believe it goes um, Greed Streak and then Minecraft, Tainted Lost, this, and then like something else I don't remember. I think it was another Chain of Lost thing. But, um, that's the schedule I'm gonna wanna try to do. Is, um, it, it'll start with Chain of Lost thing. And then, I don't know. Um, it'll start with this. Yeah, it'll start with one of these episodes, or like a random game. And then it'll go Chain of Lost, Minecraft, and then Greed Streak. I'm hoping I can keep it like that, but who knows at this rate. That's what I'm hoping to keep it as. And then if I can, I'll be happy, but who knows. Everything's, uh, everything is almost level 2 besides the magic towers. Okay, I swear to god, I just want to point this out. I did not know that I had the perf come that I was coming up on the perfect amount of money for that. I just clicked on it and then did that instinctively. Um, <laughs> I just want people to know. Yes, I have a squeaky chair. Get over it. Because I know somebody's going to point out this ever so slight squeaky chair noise is in the background of the mic. I can't help it that the mic is too high quality, goddammit. I am now Mario. The bow is ours. That is all for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Frontiers. It's a bit of a shorter episode, I know. But um I'd like to I'd like to dedicate um like one full video to a boss. Because this is obviously gonna be a boss stage. Um but I'm hoping that I can dedicate one full video to it. So look forward to that. Um, look forward to the hopefully new schedule. Um, next week is more than likely going to be a Tainted Lost episode. So who knows at this rate. I'm going to try to do Tainted Lost Season 2. Um, season 2 is going to be on my secondary save file. Not my first one. But uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.